In today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the molar volume of a gas. And specifically, I'm just going to run through the proof that one mole of a gas at standard temperature and pressure has a volume of 22.4 liters. I think most people know that, but I don't think most people know how we got that value and how we can use that, how we get that value from our ideal gas law. So here's the ideal gas law. This is the equation we're going to use. We have the pressure as P, V is the volume, N is the number of moles. Uh, R is our gas constant, and T is the temperature. In this case, the temperature has to be in degrees Kelvin. So what we're going to do, the first thing is we're going to do is solve this equation for the volume. So you can see the volume is equal to nRT divided by P. So this is the equation we can use, and hopefully we'll come up with an answer that's 22.4 liters. So let's see how we do that. You can plug the numbers in. And this is for one mole of gas at standard temperature and pressure. So we're going to go with one mole. R is the gas constant, 8.314. And the units, the units on the gas constant are joules, mole, and kelvin. So it's joules divided by mole kelvin. And then we have our temperature, which we're going to put our temperature in. And we have 273 Kelvin, and we're going to divide that by the pressure. Standard temperature and pressure, in this case, we're going to use in Pascals. All right, so that's our values that we plugged into the equation. Now we want to cancel our units and see if we can come up with liters. So you can see we have a mole here. That cancels with this mole. We have a degree, not a degree Kelvin, we have a Kelvin here and a Kelvin here we can cancel those units. Now you can see we're left with the joule and we're left with a pascal. And we need to get that into liters and let's see how we can do that. We know that a joule is equivalent to a newton meter and that a pascal is the same thing as a newton per meter squared. So you can see we have Newton meter and Newtons over meter squared. We have a Newton on the top. That will cancel with this Newton, which is on the top. And we're left with a meter and a meter squared. And if we convert those and use our algebra to flip that up, we'll end up with meters cubed. So if we do all this on our calculator, we end up with a volume that is equivalent to 0.022 four meters cubed. Okay, so now we have our volume in meters cubed and we need to get our volume to liters. And this is how we can do that. It's a simple dimensional analysis conversion. We're gonna bring the volume up here, 0 0.0224 meters cubed. And we can convert that into liters because we know that one meter cubed is equal to a thousand liters. So we can put our multiplication, our division, and then we know that we have one meter cubed, or one cubic meter, is equal to 1,000 liters, and then we come up with our volume being 22.4 liters. So that's how we can prove that the volume of one, ga of, of one mole of gas at standard temperature and pressure is equal to 22.4 liters. Thank you.